In this video, I want to show you this vintage high quality microscope that I picked up at a thrift store and show you how to print out an adapter so that you can take images with your DSLR camera. Today I wanted to show you this microscope that I picked up. I uh, got this at a thrift store and this is a vintage microscope. I would, I don't know how old it is, probably 30 years, not sure. But it's made in Japan and uh, we only paid uh, $12 for it and I was really pleased. What I want to do is I want to find a way to uh, photograph what I'm seeing either with some sort of camera like a USB camera or uh, my Nikon and doing it for a pretty inexpensive way. I think probably the best way would be to grab a US uh, microscope, a camera that will go directly in here and have its own eyepiece, you know, like a USB uh, camera or something like that. I think that would be the most ideal. But I wanted to see what I could do just uh, with a 3D printed adapter and see if I can make it work with prime focusing. Now the microscope is, is pretty good. It goes up to all the way up to about 400 times magnification with the current eyepiece and the objective down here. Now it is missing a couple of things. So I only have one clamp on this side and the other one is missing. So that's not too big a deal. And then the next problem is that I don't have um, a light. So I've managed to get a light to the work and it works just fine. Uh, but with those two minor uh, problems, it really performs a lot better than I expected. It's, a, it's really a, a student grade microscope, not a professional lab grade, but it's got a nice fine tune here and a coarse focus here. And this works so well and, and it's just built just solid as a rock, just as smooth as can be. And then here on the um, eyepiece, I've got a little lever right here. And what this does, let's see if you can see that, that swings in a little needle so that if you have it on the bench here and you want to show somebody what you're looking at, then you can point right to it. Now I can't take a photo with that in action because I don't have an effective eyepiece projection way to photograph it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to take the eyepiece out and I'm going to use the prime focusing on my camera to make it work. So what I've got here is I printed out this adapter and this is an F ring adapter for a Nikon and in the description below I'll put a, a link where you can download the STL files and print it yourself. Now to print this out uh, successfully you're going to need supports. And I think the designer intended to make this work with this taper here without supports, but it simply does not work without supports. I've tried it several times. So you want to print it in this orientation and then set your slicer to go from here to here only with your supports. Because you simply don't need anything past here and that would be a major pain to get any support material off of here. And if you did it like this, well then, if you're willing to fight, you could do it that way, but that's going to be a, that, that's going to be quite difficult to get them out of here. So I suggest you do it like this. And then, because this is so thick and this is so thick, those supports just pop right off and it's really no big deal at all. And so this uh, works by actually removing the lens on your camera. Let's see if I can find it. So, okay. And then it just snaps right in. All right. And then this is designed to go inside a 23 millimeter eyepiece, which is what I have right here. Now here is uh, here's part of the problem with this type of, of focusing. The if you put it in like this, as you would expect, where it fits just perfectly. I'm gonna put the camera up so you can see that. 
So that fits just perfectly and it's straight up and down. Well, what I have here with this particular setup is that I can never bring this down in focus at this point. Even though it fits that tube rice nice and neat and I was really happy with that. So it'll never come in focus. And so what I have to do is I'm just going to remove this. Okay. And now you can put it down in here. Now the issue with this is that now it, it flips a little bit canny wampus, okay? So what I can do is um, I, need, I need a bushing this thickness, something that will thread in, you know, if this were only a quarter of an inch long, that would be probably fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put uh, some tape around here to take up the slack. So if you look down in here, I've got about approximately one half of an inch of surface. And so a little bit of tape on there, and it only needs to be a couple of wraps because it only needs to be about that thick. So I'm just going to take some, uh, some painter's tape and see if I can split it in half. If I can't split it in half, I'll get some scissors and cut it. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to get some scissors. Okay, and let's see if this will work. actually too much okay yeah. no problem I'll just back that off a little bit until I can get the slack out okay there we go perfect well now that works just fine so now it's straight up and down and it slides in and slides out easy and I already know what it works so let's give it a shot okay so as I mentioned I don't have a light so I've got this wrist cushion and I'm just going to put this down here like this. I know that seems odd. But then I've got this LED light that uh, just plugs into an outlet. And now you can see that I've got light shining through down there. Okay. So let's give it a shot here. So here is a, an onion bulb, epidermis. And let's take a look at a low magnification. Turn the live view on. There it is. Okay. All right. Now I've got a timer. All these DSLRs like this have a timer. And Okay, now I can what I can do I can zoom in and see how well that focus is working out. Okay. All right, let's try that. Okay. So we've got our first image, and this is low magnification. And so, uh, in case you're wondering, I've got this on manual and I've currently got it at uh, about a quarter of a second, so quite slow. Now I've got a, a shutter release coming, uh, but what you can do on this particular camera, what I could do is I could put this on the uh, two second delay or ten second delay and this will, um, let's give that a shot and then I can keep my hands off and see if we can get a sharper image. Okay, and let's zoom in and take a look. Okay, and you can look around. All right, so you can see the individual cells. Now let's try a little bit higher magnification. Let's try medium. And back into live view. And then I gotta adjust that. Well, as we get higher magnification, I have to 
make sure the light is just as bright as possible. Well, I'll have to feel around with this. It's too bad I don't have this part. Now let's zoom in a little bit. And do a fine tune focus. Might let's see if I'm a little bit. Okay, let's give that a shot. Okay, all right, well, let's take a look at something else. Okay, so I've got a, a broad uh, bean leaf here. Let's see what we can see. Get that underneath there. All right, zoom in a little bit. Check our focus. All right, let's try that. All right. Now I want to try even higher magnification and see how clear we can get this. Now it's quite dark, so if you can see I'm adjusting that light. And then the focus, not quite right. Let me zoom in a little bit and see if I can get that right on the... As you go higher magnification, then everything gets a little bit more challenging to get it in focus. And of course, the microscope focuses on different layers, so I'm trying to find the, uh, one closest. Let's try this. And I've got another one here. I've got a, uh, Hydrilla verticillata leaf. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're out and about to the thrift store, you ought to swing by and just see if maybe they have something, some nugget like this. I really enjoyed this. It's got this this great little holder for your accessories. There's another one over here I have on the bench. And then it got this nice little clip here that puts in there and holds that in place in this wooden carrying case. I mean, to me, this is, this is just fantastic. So that's it for today, and I will see you next time.